Hello and welcome to my first ever video for Brighter Budgets. Um, as I say, this is my first video, so I'm not expecting it to go smoothly and I'm really hoping to learn how to video edit quite quickly. Um, so for my first video, I wanted to do some happy mail and drips and drabs have started to come in. So I've got a few here that I want to open in front of you guys. I don't even know if anybody's watching, but if you are, I'm going to go through these um, packages that have arrived so far. Um, I've also got so many different products on the way um all from like etsy sellers you'll probably know them on instagram and youtube already and um, but i will share them as they come before i do any happy mail which i am itching to get into um i just wanted to go through a few things that i use um to help me budget um as i am on a very very tight budget at the moment so I just wanted to talk through like the binders that I've got, the planner, um, how I do my week by week and yeah, just everything I'm using so far. So to start off with, the planner that I have, it's a budget planner. Um, it's very pretty. Um, this is in teal, which is, I believe, it's currently £13.95 on Amazon, but it comes in rose or blue also in a slightly lesser denomination of cost. Um, that was a rather loud bang, so apologies. Um, in here, you can list everything, like your category. You've got your categories, you've got your totals, um, you've got your calendar, income, although there is quite a lot for income. And I'm, I don't get all of that kind of income. So I'm not sure if they just used it as like a blank space and they wanted to fill it. Um, and then over the page, you've got daily expenses. And I think there's a few of these. So this is for this month upcoming and a review as well. That's quite cool. I like that. I like a review. Um, so that's all on. That's from Amazon. That was cheap and cheerful. I just wanted something that I could write physically right into um and this seems to do the job and i like the colors if you can't tell my colors are <laughs> all around me <laughs> so that's that one um and then this is just the cash something that i take to the post office or to the atm just to put it in so it's separate from my from my actual um purse which i realized i should have bought with me because that's actually um that file fax Sofiano, I want to say. Um, I've got the black one and I filled it with my own makeshift envelopes, which you're going to get a glimpse of in a minute, actually. Anyway, this cash wallet is only £4.48 and that is from Amazon again. And there's loads of colours available as well. And then we get to binders. So I have, you can probably already spot, I've got a Cricut machine. Um, so I've done these myself and I w didn't want it to be too um, in your face. I just like, I liked the grey a bit more. So I don't know if you can even see this one. Yeah, variables. Um, so these binders are from, again, Amazon. The pink and the blue were 8 99 and 9 99 And I believe it comes with like eight envelopes, stickers, little um, little stickers that has the, the like preemptive categories on. And the purple binder was eight ninety seven, and again from Amazon. I'll link everything because <laughs> I guess that's what you do, um, so that everybody knows what they are. Um, and then inside, this was actually my my own creation, <laughs> but it broke. It was in my in my um, Filofax wallet, and it broke. So it had to go. It had to be resigned into the into the groceries. One th into the into the binder. One thing I will say about the um, cash envelopes, that the actual envelopes that come, is that some of them end up like this. Um, they're not very, I don't know, it bugs me. It really bugs me that they're not very straight. Um, <laughs> it annoyed me trying to do the lettering as well, the vinyl, um, but it just annoys me because like, I know it's not much, but you pay you pay for something you expect it to be. It, I shouldn't complain because I didn't pay much for them. But we move. Okay. 
And then the last thing I want to show you is that I I didn't have I didn't have the budget. It wasn't in my budget to buy an extra binder to do week by week. So like week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. So what we did instead, what well, I was bought um some pencil cases from well-known supermarkets it's a bit grubby it's been used um but it actually says week one on it and i've got that oh there you go that one's from tesco's i've got an asda one as well and i've got five of these so that when i do come to planning out my whole months again i'm able to do so like without without a binder so these are just kept separate um and then the last thing i want to show you and this isn't like a necessity this is more of I would I wanted something but I wasn't prepared to pay the price um so I went to I went to the works I wanted some sharpies I wanted some colored sharpies to do all the um challenges with like coloring in but when I got there it was about eight pounds for a pack of sharpies and I, I didn't want to pay that so they actually have their own for £1.50. I've taken the pink and the black out already, um, which is just another alternative. For me personally, I have to look at alternatives right now. Um, I'm not in a position where I can I can justify spending that, but I would love to have like all the colours in Sharpies because they look so pretty all together. But for now, I'm happy with this. So, where are we now? Um, so, let's move on to Happy Mail. Ta -da! these are only I know what these are um but I still wanted to open on camera um to get myself familiar with speaking on camera to get myself familiar with how to move on camera and yeah I just wanted to do this as like my first video I was like a hi <laughs> I'm here um so let's start so this is from it's Simply Bizarre, and I tell you, I know what this is, but I'm not going to say until it's open. Oh. So this is, if you can see, I'm just making sure there's no, um, no, there's not. Just making sure there's no um, address on there. Um, so this is No Spend stickers, um, and they've put in a little rainbow. Oh. Um, so let's open this. Let's see what these are like because that's going to go in my in my budget planner um, for the month. Um, so we've got a little got a little rainbow there. Sorry, I, I realised that I'm not even holding that up to you. Um, and then these, and they've sent a little note to say thanks so much for your order. Um, so I will connect with them on Instagram and these are little tiny oh I've moved you now haven't I is that it yeah so these are teeny tiny no spend days they're really cute actually I didn't expect them to be this small and um, but I actually really like it that's going to go very well with something that is in one of these other packages as well um I'm gonna have to get more of these though I say that, that's very wishful thinking, isn't it? I'm not going to spend, yeah. The reason I'm doing it this way is I want to have a, my sort of ideal setup is that I have a monthly allowance, I have a weekly budget, a weekly allowance, I have the weekly variables, and then on top of that I want to do no spend because I, I am an impulsive spender. Um, I will spend till the cows come home. And think some of you have already realized that when I've bought from your shop when there's been a sale so yeah I need to I need to curb it so that's one of the things that I ordered see that's the thing I want to not spend and then I've just spent it's just yeah it's, the irony is there um right this is from notes and clips so let's have a look at this and I think Let's see what's in here. Have we got any dresses? No, we've got a thank you so much card. Oh, this is nice. It says notes and clips on it. I really like that sticker. It says open me, open me in really small letters. 
All right, let's do it. Enough waiting around. Oh, I've not opened that very well at all. So, I don't know if you can see these um, just yet. You might have just seen something sparkly. And these are to mark when my payday happens. So these are little teeny tiny. It's not going to focus now, is it? Mm. Again, so these go with these in my in my budget planner. These are actually gold. They're shimmery gold, but I don't think it's picking up very well with this lighting. You might have just got a glimpse of me looking absolutely ridiculous. Um, and let's have a look, see what they're like. Oh, they are. They oh, they're nice. They're nice and thick. I'm going to have to use tweezers because I've got really chubby fingers. So I'll have to use tweezers. But yeah, that's from Notes and Clips. That's on um, Etsy as well. They've got some really cute stuff in there. And then this last one, and I do know what this is. This should be, if I remember correctly, from Mousy Piggy Budgeting. All right, I'm just having a look because it just has another envelope inside. It says, Dear Catherine, that's me, by the way, I haven't even introduced myself. Trust your effort, you're opening a door that you still do not see. Happy cash stuffing. That's cute. I like that. And these are ti teeny, teeny, tiny compared to my other ones and um, coin bags. And I needed two. So I've got three, which I should have really brought up with me, which were bought from Etsy as well. Um, but these are for silver and copper. But I've got ones that are really large for two pound one pound a smaller one for 50p so i needed one for copper and silver so i've used those i'm not gonna i'm trying to think if i've bought i'm trying to remember what i've actually bought on etsy um within the sales that happened over the last week or so um because i don't think i bought any like one pound or penny challenges or anything like that but i just needed somewhere to store it so these are what these are for and then there is something else in here as well oh it just says thank you so much for supporting our small business we are truly grateful for your purchase if you could take a moment leave feedback oh and minis oh my goodness i don't know if you can see yeah you can um these are mini teeny tiny cash cylinders challenges so you've got a seashells one which is 10 pounds a coffee saver one as well which i can't actually read that that's about 30 pounds and this is what this is says um homemade lunch and then if you've completed this challenge you could save around 50 pounds does that say 30 yeah which is actually funny because i um i went i <laughs> really fancied like a hot sugary drink um, last night, funnily enough, and so I, I drove to my nearest um, my nearest Starbucks that was the only place open on a Sunday night. I know it was a night as well um, to get a some sort of frothy, caramelly coffee drink, um, which I want to say a macchiato. If you know what that is, please tell me that I've got the right thing. Um, but I paid about five pounds for it. And it was it was such a letdown. I was so annoyed at myself. Um, so, but I do, I might use this actually so that I can buy a coffee maker because um, I am after one. So yeah, that's it. So that's I think everything for now. Um, as I say, I've got a lot on the way. Um, <laughs> a lot on the way. A lot of savings challenges. A lot of IOUs. Um, and yeah, so we've got my my books. We've got annual in my binder. Like I want to start saving for Christmas. I know it's early, but I want to start doing that. Birthdays um, and all that jazz. And in savings challenges, I have got some. I've got three. I'm not going to show you because they are they're not great. 
Um, they were printed at home. They were laminated at home. And I'm not a pro at this sort of stuff. Um, and then after I started them, I had to actually take the money out of it. <laughs> so it was pointless starting. Um, but that's okay. We're going to get all new saving challenges in the post. And that's that, I think, for today. So, yeah, if you've got any questions, I'm going to do a probably an about me and you can get to know me a bit better. But I think that's enough rambling from me for today. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys are all good and I hope somebody watches this video. At least one person I'll be happy. <laughs>